So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using some of this cardstock that you can find in like cereal boxes or snack boxes. I don't know, whatever you have laying around. It's not as thick as cardboard. It's um, a little bit easier to use. And what we're going to be doing is creating a, uh, a sculpture that is <clears throat> kind of using different layers, uh, kind of like, uh, like an image that is sliced into little thin slivers and putting those together. And <clears throat> if you've ever seen like a topographic map, you can kind of realize what this looks like, that there are different slices for different elevations. So what I want to start out with is kind of the shape that I'm going to be working with, uh, my main shape. And it, I'm going to continue doing some sort of abstracted human form, just kind of like what we're doing in class with wood. And I'm going to... I chose to go with a geometric base here. I might not be going completely geometric with this, but we'll see. There's my basic shape. What I'm going to do is then figure out different pieces that I want to like stick out some. So maybe this I keep I want to keep kind of the same size, so I'm going to cut it kind of the same shape. Oops. But I also want to create something kind of fits into this shape a little bit. So I'm going to draw that out on this piece. And it doesn't matter if it's exact because it's an abstracted form. Maybe that goes up a little bit more though. I don't want it sticking out of the edge. Cut that out. Good enough for me. So I'm gonna keep doing this. And creating these different shapes that will line up in a very specific way. I'll show you that as I move to time lapse so you don't have to get completely bored with me just cutting shapes. So the next thing I'm going to do is just cut out a strip like this. And this is going to help my sculpture stand up. And what I do is I cut halfway or a little bit more, just a very thin sliver, like so. And this will fit right in there, but that doesn't look right, does it? That's not going to stand up. Put it up, boop, just falls down. So what I need to do is just cut something like that 
you can see that I have two cuts. They fit in together, and now it stands up. I continue to do this on the bottom so that all of my pieces have slots that will hold them into place. Now, yours doesn't have to be a human figure. It could very much just be, you know, a bunch of shapes put together. That's your call, it's your artwork. This is how he's. The right thing is, they're interchangeable. If it's twisting a little bit, you may need to not just do a cut, but do a very thin sliver. Sometimes the width of the cardstock will make it twist and turn. Now, if you wanted to do something completely different with it, you could take the same idea and fit them together, and I'll show you how. Okay, so now instead of just putting one stick right there, I cut halfway up. The smallest little sliver out. And then on this side, cut halfway down. And you can see it fits together like that. From there, you can start adding your pieces just like you would have before. So if I take my headpiece that I had planned to go up here, cut, cut, And and that's how it would fit in there. And you just keep building outward and outward from all four directions. <laughs> 